So, it's either this or that, but we could consider the other. Hi, I'm Genoa Tunes Unlimited, and today I'm going to show you how to create a camera overlay. Coming up next. TunesUnlimited.com Okay, so here we are in Adobe Animate, and the first thing I want to do is have the high def dimension so I'm going to do 1920 over 1080 and the next thing I want to do is bring up the rulers because I'm going to make some guides on um, my camera outline so I wanted to have it about right here um, so let's go and do the same steps for each one of my corners so that they line up in the same spots. Okay, so that looks pretty even. And then the next thing I want to do is create a nice little border. So the first thing I'm going to do is lock my guides so they don't move because I want them to stay in place. And then using the rectangle tool, I'm going to go ahead and draw a nice border. Now, my stroke that I have is set at 10, and I have my opacity at 20%. But for right now, I'm going to delete the fill for this, and I'm going to draw another square. But this time, it's going to be in the middle of my guide, so right here in the middle and I'm going to delete the fill for this as well now using the the, um, the paint bucket tool I'm going to drop my fill on the outside and I want to go ahead and delete my border outline for the outer frame and for the inner frame and take this fill and drop the opacity to 20. So we have a nice little border right now. Now with the line tool, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to take this line tool and I'm going to create an L. Let's just do it from this view. So we have it kind of short here, the short part of the L here and the longer part of the L about here. And we can zoom in and see how it looks. So I want to make a copy of this. Paste in place. And I want to flip it and I want to put it on the other side. We're going to do the corners. That looks about right. And then we want to get now both of these lines copy paste in place and this time we're going to flip it vertical okay I'm going to hide the guides because I don't think we need any more of the guides and now you can place your symbols for your recording and um, if you want to include a battery I'm going to include a battery life on mine because I want to do a little bit of animation with it but you can place them any anywhere you want inside of your um, your rectangle the first thing I want to do is zoom into this section because here is where I'm going to create my circle for the recording symbol. And of course I want it to be red, so let me get the red. Um, the next thing I wanted to do, I wanted to actually say recording, REC, so I'm going to bring out my text tool which is, where is my text tool? Oh, right here. And in all caps, just put REC. And let's make the adjustment so it all fits in one line. And I'm okay with the font that I'm using right now. I'm using Arial, regular, and the size is at 73. But let's go in 
and do the battery. So on this side, I want my battery to pop up. And I'm going to do that by just drawing a square. And another little small square to indicate a battery top about right there. Um, I want my border, of course, to be black and the fill to be white for right now because I want to take the line tool and draw some slants in it. So now the only thing I notice, you notice these little lines popping up at the top of the batteries. I want to go ahead and just highlight them real quick. And over here where it says cap, I want to make them round so you don't see them. So I pretty much have everything in place the way I would like it. Um, and now it's time to do a little bit of animation. Oh, actually, the only thing I do want to change, I don't want this black border for the recording. I'm just going to go ahead and delete the border. Now, one thing I don't like to use is lines. When I am making my content, I like to use fills. So I'm going to highlight everything and say, um, go to shape and convert lines to fill. And it doesn't look different. It looks, everything looks the same. The only difference is when I click on these, these are now fill. So at one point in time, I had my stroke at 10 and now it's just a fill. And I probably can now fix this issue I'm having over here where I wanted it to come out. Okay. So now everything looks exactly the way I want it when it's recording. Actually, the first thing I want to do is create four different, four additional frames. So I'm going to right click, go to five and say convert, convert to keyframes because I want everything to be identical. Okay, so we have five frames and I want to do some animation with this. Um, the first frame, the battery is completely full. So let's grab the green and I'm going to color in these battery symbols to make them all full. The next one, it's still green, but it's it's starting to go down, right? So let's bring in the paint bucket tool. And this time we're gonna stop it about right here. Next frame, we're getting halfway through. We're gonna use yellow. We're gonna put them here. Next frame, battery's getting low, so we're going to put it here. Make sure that's right. Yeah. And then the final frame, we're just going to have it here. But this time, we want to make the border, if I can get this right. Let me see if I can get this right. I want to make the whole border red all of my corners that I want red. And let's see how it looks. Yeah. And the last part is just to do some animation. So now we have different layers full to going dead, right? And the battery itself doesn't have to be black. It can be a white. You won't see the white outline until it's imported in, but um, we can make it white. Okay, so we're almost finished here. Now, the last thing I want to do is kind of create some 
very minimum animation. I'm going to go to frame one and I'm going to start to now convert these to symbols. Let me hide my guide again. So I'm going to convert each one of these frames into a symbol. So foul, convert this symbol. This first symbol will be full battery. Next one, I'm going to go in, do the same thing. All right. So let's go to frame one and let's go inside this symbol. And we want the recording light to pulse. So the only animation I'm going to do is with this red dot. I'm going to have it stay on for 12 frames and then go off for 12 frames. Let's see here, let me get to frame number 12 real quick. I think it's right here. And I'm going to ask it to convert to a keyframe. So from here, all the way through is going to be on for 11 frames. On the 12th frame, I'm going to create another keyframe at 24. Actually, no. I'm going to delete my red dot now and then can create another keyframe at 24. And that's my off pose. So it's on and off. And the only thing I want to delete is this last one so it stays at a nice loop. So on, off, and then it'll go back on. And we're going to repeat the same process for the other um, frames. We want the recording to pose. So what we're going to do for this last one, we want the battery life to pulse as well as the recording symbol. But I want the battery life to pulse a little faster than the recording icon. So right now we've been posting on 12s for the recording and I'm going to have it pulse on 6 for the battery life. So I'm going to create a keyframe here. Then I'm going to create a keyframe on 12. Okay, so it should look kind of like this. And what we're going to do here is we're going to delete this. But here we're going to bring it back. But delete this. So let's see how it looks so far. And we'll still have this deleted here. So it should play out where the battery pulse is off. It should come back on. It should go off right here. And now I'm going to loop this just to see how it looks. I want to loop the whole set of frames, so let's just see. And I believe that works the way I want it to work. You go ahead and take the loop off. And so now we have all of our frames. Now here's the thing, we have to import this separately for um, each, each frame has to be imported separately into Crazy Talk Animator in order for it to work as designed. So what I'm going to do is um, 
I'm going to copy each one of these frames and I'm going to create a new document and it could be the same dimensions 1920 over 1080 so I'm going to tell it to go to my other library and I'm going to bring my full battery to this stage we can just line it up you know it's going to line up perfectly because we already got our dimensions right and I'm going to save this first one I'm going to create a new folder and call it video recording and this first one will be full battery And now we're going to bring the almost full to the stage. All right, so now what I'm going to do is bring up Crazy Talk Animator. And I'm going to start to import these to the stage and save them as one whole prop. So I'm going to go to my folder. Okay, so this is basically the size. Now before I bring in the other ones, I want to just test out to make sure the recording is flashing. And the first thing I've noticed that's missing is the recording symbol. But I'm going to see how it looks so far. So let's see. And so basically when it's playing, this will be going on. And that's exactly what I want to happen. The only thing that's missing is the recording button. And I believe that is due to this being a box. I probably should make it a fill. Since I'm going to go back in, let me go ahead and fix these issues so that the recording symbol will come in. So what I'm going to do is um, to save time, I'm just going to go ahead and import these individually one by one again, save them, and then I'm going to retest it into Crazy Talk Animator to make sure all of the animation and everything is working correctly. Okay, I'm back, and as you can see now, I have my recorder symbol now showing and I'm just going to test each one of these frames. Full seems to be working correctly. Almost full is working correctly. Half full is working correctly. See, almost dead is working correctly. And right when the battery is dying, let's see how this came out. Beautiful. And that's exactly how I wanted it to work. So now that we have this save, we can save it as a prop. I'm going to go to this and call this video camera overlay. Now, my suggestion is when you have this in your scene, always lock this layer because this is your foreground layer. This is what you want everyone to see to let people know that you are recording something. Um, and then that way you can still play around and manipulate your scene and don't, you don't have to worry about this screen moving every time you touch something because it's at the very front of all of your layers. So, all right, so it's lights, camera, action. I'm going to lock this and just let this play out and see what we get. So, it's either this or that, but we could consider the other. So, it's either this or that, but we could consider the other. So, it's either this or that, but we could consider the other. And there you have it. You have a video camera recording screen overlay 
over top of whatever project you want. So now if you want to do interviews, um, if you want to do like a behind the scenes, whatever you want to create, you have the ability to do it using this overlay. For those of you who do not have the ability to create your own video camera overlay, I will pop this in both my website as well as Relusions Marketplace. So you can go to tunesunlimited.com or to the marketplace and purchase this video overlay. And um, hope it helps enhance your next video animation. Send me a link to some of your um, your projects that you did using the recording overlay. I would love to see it. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see videos like this. Take care. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week. If you would like to purchase my product, head over to my store for characters, props, and scenes. If you enjoyed this video, here is a link to another video you might like from this channel. Thanks for joining and take care.